Today we're looking at the 1970 Hot Wheels Tune-Up Tower Dynameter Head Unit. This includes the blue needles that mark out the wheel speed and wheel drift panels, and the orange arms that hold the car on the treadmill. Here's a blue BMW M4. If the treadmill arms are straight, the car will back right in. Like so. But if the arms are bent, you can't get your car on the treadmill. And in this case, the top blue needle is also bent. To get the dynameter head unit out, there's a retainer tab here on the front, and one on the back. Now to use a little pressure to lift the tabs clear, one at a time, and then push the unit out. To straighten out the plastic, I have a steam kettle, oven mitt, and needle nose pliers. With the kettle running, I'm heating up the plastic so it becomes malleable. The oven mitt keeps my hand from being burned by the hot steam. I'll start with the bent blue needle. Now for the far right arm that is bent. I'm stretching it back out. And back down. put the head unit back in, I slide it into place and push down. Here's the before picture of the bent needle. And this is the after picture. I'll slide the back panel on. And now we'll see if the M4 rolls into place. The needle moves freely for left drift and right drift. And the wheel speed indicator works as well. So there you have it, the 1970 Hot Wheels Tune-Up Tower Dynameter Head Unit, fixed and ready to go. Up next, getting the treadmill to run, so we can make Hot Wheels still fast, still fun.